Welcome back to Sekiro everyone. In this episode we're going to be continuing in this area I think with the bull. I think this bull is for sure beatable. I think I'm not too far away from being able to beat him. Uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens in terms of me trying not to get noticed. Sorry guy, guys. I was trying to say boys and guys at the same time but yeah, whatever. Uh, welcome back to Sekiro, as I said. Sorry that this episode, once again, is gonna come out a little bit later. First of all, I had quite a long day at work. I got home later than normal. And the other issue is the MK11 beta, which I'm really trying to maximize my time with because, you know, why not get all the advantages you can? before the actual game launches, right? It truly is an excellent game, looking like an excellent game so far. I'm having a ton of fun with it. And yeah, it's there's gonna be some videos on it, mainly kind of like a review of what I think. Maybe I'll stream it on Saturday. And yeah, that's, that's what's up, the MK Beta. So I figured something out with this boss, didn't I? Last time around. I forgot what it was. <laughs> I forgot what I figured out. Oh yeah, that you can... Yeah, when he's charging. Maybe not. Maybe not. Wasn't it that a well-timed... Yeah. yeah. But he immediately attacks after. Okay. So you can... Like I said... And he's hard to hit. Fuck, this is make. I swear this is making me dizzy. The way he's spinning around. Okay. Let's not get too aggressive. God damn <laughs> Stop spinning. Yeah, okay. Fucked up the dodge. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna resurrect there. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, you can apparently stun him like this with the shuriken, but he immediately does probably his most dangerous attack after. So I'm not sure if it's worth it. Dodging in this game sucks, as in not the feel of it, but the actual dodge move barely has any iframes on it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is we'll give this a couple of more, couple of more, couple more on screen shots, and then I'm gonna start editing this shit out because, you know, we don't wanna be too boring. I swear that would be an easier way to get over here, but whatever. So yeah, speaking of the MK11 beta, yeah, expect a full review on it. Right now, tip, kind of typical of me, I'm enjoying probably the two most boring characters, uh, Scorpion and Jade. Both of these characters are really fun, very neutral focused, and both of them are pretty shitty, as in viability, I think. Who knows, of course, it's very early to make any kind of comment on what kind of meta the game is going to have, but I don't know. I'm liking the direction the game is going in, let me tell you that. I'll say that much, I'll say that much. They got the right idea, they do, they really do. You really do have to pick your attacks carefully against this thing. What the 
help. Just trying what happens if I block. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Man, dodging sucks in this game. It's so weird. Okay, no worries, no worries. Look, look at how much damage I dealt. Quite impressive. So yeah, I, I cannot kill this fucking bull. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying really hard, but I'm just dealing no damage to it. Like, absolutely no damage. So yeah, we're gonna continue on this area instead. I wanted to kill it, but... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. It doesn't seem like or feel like a puzzle boss fight, but... At this point, I am not sure. Okay, that's not... I thought that was something you can grab onto. As in grapple onto. There's three of these fools. Four of them! I just got destroyed. Fuck it. I live again, boys. What do you think about that? You hit the fucking bamboo. What an idiot. That's more like it. I knew that was the right time to resurrect. Oh yeah, there is a little path here, isn't there? What we can do? Not even a path. We can do this. Be a sneaky. Really, I don't want to waste time with these fools. All I wanted to do was check out this place. Because, yeah, that's the I died here to the fire because I was an idiot, but I knew there was an extra path. He said go to our left, so yeah. I was kind of stupid there, but also not. It's all good. Yeah, this looks like... This looks like the way forward for sure. The only question is... Are they gonna be kind enough to give us a sculptor's idol? I would really appreciate one. Stealth kills are the best. Let me just... Yeah, the camera was a little bit chaotic there. Who the hell... Oh, there's dudes in the cave. Just come on, just come on over here. go I'm taking a lot of damage never mind the arrow shit this burn status I know I have the ointment God damn. Listen, like getting cornered by more than one enemy in this game is absolutely hell. Okay, the burn status wore off. Like it's very difficult to explain without playing it 
how absolutely screwed you are if multiple enemies aggro on you. Which is probably the intention, you know. It's just weird, you know. Honestly, the reason I took so much damage there is because, um, okay, consecutive wall jump, just before we go anywhere else, want to explore this place fully, is because I honestly didn't even see that there was a cave here, I kind of figured it out after a while in the heat of the moment, but I thought they were just like standing in front of a mural, just like a wall. What I wanted to explore is down here. You never know what leads to a secret path and what doesn't. Yeah, eat shit. I'm taking hella damage. I've taken hella damage. Goku's sugar. Goku's sugar? Of course not. I fucked up. God damn it, I swear. Ugh. It's so difficult to get out of the mindset of not dodging. It's like, probably you guys are playing this game as well. I'm finding it so incredibly difficult. It's such an instinct, you know, to like when you get hit. Oh, it puts it all the way back here. Shit. This is a long ass. It's a long ass way back. Actually, it's not that long, but. But still, it kind of is. So I don't know, like, again, you guys are probably playing this game as well. I'm having such a hard time adjusting to... Oh, hello. Just ignore me. Or don't ignore me. Luckily, these guys are the biggest bitches on the planet. Literally two hits and they're dead. How the hell did you not notice all your buddies getting slaughtered? Not very observant, is it? Okay. Let's do this a little bit sneakier. There's no way. Oh, he noticed me. It's all good. It is all good. I love his run. It's one of the best run cycles in any Souls game. So yeah, again, just the not dodging stuff is... I'm finding it hard. I'm struggling with it. I did not mean to do that. Luckily. Oh yeah, there, there is a way back. Not even a way back. It leads to the exact same place. Okay, so the lesson learned here is be careful because there's a large ass group of enemies here. In fact, what I'm probably gonna do is just sneak down here. Yup. The question is. Is there a way to... Are you actually fucking kidding me? Hell yeah, I'm resurrecting.
fucking hell, two enemies in this game. Yeah, it's, it's impossible. I'm dead. Not gonna let myself die because that would fuck with my, you know. Don't I have an item? Pretty sure I do. This, yeah, yeah. Cool. Just to save myself the resurrection attempt. Oh man, two enemies in this game is like impossible. Like literally, but you know, you know what I mean. It could also be that I suck. It's very much a possibility, but hey. So I ran like a bitch from these dudes. But that's the shinobi way, isn't it? <laughs> I can't. Oh man. This game is difficult, yeah. Where would I put it? I don't know. This is probably the most difficult Souls game. So far, maybe it's just the readjusting, but this game seems incredibly hard. Much, again, much more so than any of the Souls games. Hey, I got... Man, I'm getting lucky with this Unseen Aid. Alright. Just gotta keep on pushing. Thing is, I don't really want to grapple up here, but there's not much else I can, not many places else I can go. That didn't make any sense. You know what I was trying to say. Cool. Sometimes I really do wonder, you know, when I play this game, that how many people, I wonder, have quit up to this point? Like, how many players bought this game and never even reached this spot? Sometimes I think about it. I thought about that with every single Souls game, because honestly, when I played Dark Souls 1, I almost gave up on, I think, the Gargoyles. I really think, honestly, and I still hold out that back then, in Dark Souls 1, the gargoyles really were the, you know, the boss that separated the boys from the men. Like, if you struggled through the gargoyles, you probably got through the entire game. Uh, if you gave up on gargoyles, it's unlikely that you ever went back. At least that's how it always seemed to me. And you know, I had my fair share of troubles with the gargoyles. So you know. Only difference is in this game, the regular enemies are the gargoyles. Gargoyles, I said that weird. Can't even talk. Yeah, fuck you and your sword. I really think, you know... It's kind of a problem that this Mikiri counter is mapped to the same button as the dodge. I think it would be much easier if... Uh, there's a separate button. Because one of the problems is that I misjudge the distance uh, with these dudes. And I get a dodge, which sucks. And I don't want to dodge towards them. Instead of getting a Mikiri counter. I 
Okay, let me just see. This one attracts, right? The problem is I don't have anywhere to grapple onto where I could, you know, do a sneak and... Oh, yeah. Oh, look, I mean, look at the damage they deal. Fucking hell. Oh my god, this is so incredibly difficult. I can't, I literally can't do it. I can't. I can't get past this goddamn vanilla ass spear user. The evening hours are perilous. Oh man, I'm gonna get fucking... I'm gonna infect people if I'm not careful. Hmm. These spear, these two spear users can go fuck themselves seriously. I mean, do you see how much damage they're dealing to me? Cool. And this is kind of far back too. You know what? Screw all of you guys. I think... I have a theory that... Running past every single enemy is still possible. Just like any other Souls game. Yep. That's always been... I mean, what would this series be without... The ability to run past... 90% of the enemies that you encounter. It would be nothing. It's pretty much as much a staple of the series as any of the other mechanics, as a difficulty, you know. Luckily, your buddies are really fucking stupid, and they don't notice you getting killed. Did I kill... Oh, that's a Mikiri. Cool. Now these motherfuckers, these spear users, haven't even managed to kill the one. So what happens? There's absolutely nowhere to hide. I really want to be... What if I... Nah. Thought maybe I can cut those bamboos and... Oh wait, there's something there, what the hell, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, secret path maybe, weird, there definitely is somewhere, something there, huh, oh man, what if you need the... Nah. Uh, look at me trying to be all clever and shit and it not working out. Oh, they do turn around. Yeah, there's no... <sighs> 
probably a bad idea. You've got to be... F fuck! I'm about to have like a... Fuck this enemy, seriously. I don't know what to do. He's lit at this point he's literally gonna you know what? Fuck him. Yeah, I'm go I'm going over here. Oh hello. Yeah, you can wave to your buddies all you want. So, as the game was saying. We got that, we got that. Oh shit, just don't dodge into the burning building. Oil. Ah. Oh. Why didn't I go this way? I didn't trust myself. I thought I was gonna get bamboozled. We're gonna rest. I kinda still wanna check out that other path, but I don't know, man. Spear users. Spear users haven't been this bad since fucking good Dark Souls 2. Fine. Let's check it out. Yeah, there's no easy way around it. No easy way back. I mean... Watch the spacing. I just got done playing Mortal Kombat. Play Scorpion. He's basically a samurai. Kinda. A dickish one, but still. I think being a samurai and being a dick are not mutually exclusive. Okay. Nice. Ooh. There we go much easier than any spear user wait are there two no there's no two caves it's only one okay let me heal with a pellet try and fucking finally do this I feel a lot better now that I don't have to like travel halfway across the world to I want to try these dudes out again. Oh, that's a sweep. Damn it. So they have a sweep and they... Oh, I gotta go through this gauntlet though. I've made zero... Absolutely no progress in this entire episode. But hey... This is Souls. Sometimes you gotta have those kinds of episodes. Oh man, this is gonna go up so late. I do apologize already. Yeah, it's just, let's just go on. Just make progress. Because I'm not gonna be able to kill them. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's late. I don't know. It's not even that late, but... Yeah, I don't think so. Try that weak shit on me. No, no, don't, don't do that. Did not mean to do that. He noticed me already. 
I didn't see the little red alarm thingy go up. Man, they notice you quickly. That's okay. There's one more. It's not that easy to sneak around here. Many because this is like a very open space. Okay, sucking all the juices. Let's see what else we can encounter here. Ceramic shard. Oh, there you are. There's a dude who's on patrol. Ain't gonna be on patrol for long. What the fuck kind of armor is this? There's an interact thingy there. Hold on, let me... Hmm. Gotta get to the other side. Maybe through here. Dowsing powder. Something noticed me. Because the music is playing. Weird. For a fraction of a second, I thought that was a dude, but that ain't. That is far from a dude. Divine Confetti. I, d I don't get what... Th this is like a distraction item, isn't it? Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Wow. Such intelligence. We'd like. I'd like to pretend that he was hiding in fear from me in the corner. Yeah, we'll we'll chalk it up to that. That's what that's what was going on there. That thing is bothering me, that prompt. What if I go to the other side? What <laughs> Oh yeah, you know what this game doesn't have it doesn't have ragdoll physics. Such a shame. I miss my good old souls. Was that literally just the sculptor's idol? It literally was. Damn it. I really thought I was discovering some secret shit there. <coughs> Damn. Well, if this never makes it up, you know it's because I choked. That would be quite a way to go. Choked while recording a YouTube video. There's a dude here. We've seen this dude before, right? You are like incredibly tall, although there is some elevation difference. Or is he gonna help us? Oh yeah, he is. Holy shit. He's charging in. I was about to say... How the hell does... There's a big dude. Yuzu the drunkard. Oh shit. This is gonna be a gank. He's getting killed. Yeah, heal yourself. I was gonna say. Whoa, okay. Just chill out there. This is a gank, isn't it? 
How the hell did he die already? Leaving me with this fat asshole. Oh, he had... He really is drinking. I can respect that. That's the same shit Oren does in FFX. Holy... Okay, that's a sweep. Yeah, when he drinks, that's when you have the chance to attack him. Yeah, okay. So, we got him down a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna... I wonder if that dude stays permanently dead or what's going on with that. That would really suck because you see how many dudes there were at the start? Okay. Well, this guy seems a little bit more manageable than the bull. Although maybe three attempts later I'm not going to be saying that. Man, this was a mixed bag of an episode. As in, I really wanted to be making more progress, but... Man, who the hell invented spear users in this game? They seem like absolute assholes to deal with. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Neo. Fuck, I did it. I've managed to avoid it, I think, so far. Just almost saying it. This episode of Sekiro. I'm never gonna not call this game Neo. Yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.